Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Learn Technology in 5 Minutes by Makeademy. This is Tejaswini and I am a part of the instructor team at Makeademy. In this episode, we will learn about the thread protocol, its features and why it is one of the best choices of protocol for home automation and other such IoT projects. The Internet of Things has gained immense popularity over the last few decades and its potential continues to grow. According to a study by ARM, it is predicted that the number of connected operational devices in IoT will reach up to 1 trillion by the year 2035. IoT and automation have acquired significance in various fields such as industrial, manufacturing, retail, healthcare and more. One such field of IoT that has become very popular is home and building automation. With the increasing demand for home automation, there was a need for a standard networking protocol and technology stack that was reliable, secure, power efficient and compatible with other existing networking protocols. To meet such requirements, the thread protocol was introduced. The thread protocol is an IPv6 based wireless networking protocol specifically designed for low power connected devices in the home automation space. It is based on IEEE 802.15.4 and 6 low pan protocol and uses advanced encryption standard. Thread protocol is mesh based protocol. A thread mesh network can support up to 250 nodes. This protocol was released in July 2015 with the formation of the Thread Group Alliance. This group included companies like Google, Qualcomm, Samsung, Arm and Silicon Labs. The Thread Group was created with the mission of educating, marketing and promoting the use of the Thread networking protocol. Thread is now backed by industry-leading companies including Apple, Arm, NXP, Nest Labs, Osram, Qualcomm, Nordic Semiconductor, Siemens, Silicon Labs, Schneider Electric, Somfy, and Yale Security. Let us now delve into the architecture and network stack of the Thread Protocol and understand how it is designed to meet the needs of a home automation network. First, let us look at the Thread Protocol architecture and its topology. The Thread architecture is based on IEEE. 802.15.4-2006 standard. This is a thread network topology. A thread network topology establishes connections with other devices via a border router. The communication within this network is based on 802.15.4 and it forms a self-healing mesh. The various devices that comprise a thread network architecture include the following. 1. Border routers. These are essentially a gateway. In a home network, the Wi-Fi signal acts as a border router. There may be one or more border routers in a network. Using many border routers ensures redundancy and failover capability in a network. 2. Lead devices The lead device is responsible for managing a registry of assigned router IDs. It also controls the request for reads to be promoted by routers. It uses the CoAP protocol and its state information is stored in the thread routers. This allows self-healing of the mesh in case of a failure. Next, there are thread routers. These manage the routing services of the mesh and never enter the sleep state unless they are allowed to be downgraded to reads. Finally, there are reads or router eligible end devices. They are essentially the leaf nodes or endpoints of the network. They are not responsible for routing or joining devices to the network unless promoted to a router. Apart from these, there may be end devices that are endpoint devices that cannot become routers and sleepy end devices that are host devices that have entered a sleep state and cannot relay messages and can only communicate through a thread router. Moving on. Let us now dive into the thread network stack. This is a diagram of a typical thread stack as compared to a typical TCP IP stack 
that uses OSI or Open System Interconnected Model. Thread Network Stack uses the IEEE 802.15.4 for the physical and MAC layers. It operates in the 2.4 GHz frequency band and supports radio modules like Zigbee and Wireless Hut. In the higher layers, as it uses 6 low pan, it has the benefits of header compression, IPv6 addressing, and fragmentation scheme. Additionally, the thread has two more stack components distance vector routing and mesh link establishment. Thread uses UDP with IP routing which offers faster packet delivery. Now let us understand the features of the thread protocol that make it the best suited protocol for home automation networks. As stated by the thread group, the protocol was designed to be simple for customers to use, always secure, power efficient, an open protocol that is compatible with IP, based on a robust mesh topology with no single point of failure, and to be able to run over the existing 802.15.4 radio technology. Thread was designed to support a wide variety of applications in the home, such as appliances, climate and access control, lighting and energy management, safety and security. With these features, several top companies use the Thread protocol to develop their home automation and IoT solutions today, as the Thread community continues to grow. If you want to know more about the Thread group, check out the link in the description below. That is all folks. If you like this video, smash the subscribe button and ring the bell to be updated about our future video releases.